what I wear and why I wear it when I ride? Hmm. Now that's a good question. Why I wear what I wear when I ride? I'm Fletch, uh, and today I'll be doing a little challenge. Uh, and this challenge was uh, set up by uh, Scouts Adventures and uh, Road Rash HD. So basically, this challenge was uh, thought up by Scouts Adventures uh, during his Friday night live uh, stream, uh, which I attend. Uh, and unfortunately, because of the timing, uh, it's somewhere in the late afternoon. Oh, sorry, it was somewhere in the late morning uh, to the afternoon, right? And almost towards the end of that particular um, session, uh, it was suggested that uh, we come up with a topic that the three of us would actually come up uh, a video with, right? And the topic was why I wear what I wear when I ride. Now, um, this came about also uh, when they were looking at my avatar because I couldn't get my video working and I put up a little avatar and it was a picture of me um, wearing my hog vest and on that vest uh, there were lots of pins and uh, patches and everything else uh, it wasn't an MC vest it's uh, the Harley owners group vest uh, and of course over the years I've collected stuff so he, he mentioned either you use I think you talk about the cut that you wear and the story behind it, which I probably will do another sto another uh, video on. But uh, for today, I will just do uh, about why I wear what I wear when I ride. This outfit that you see, or what I'm wearing here today, is for my daily commute. As you know, Singapore is pretty hot um, most of the time. If it, it doesn't rain, uh, being a tropical country. I'm actually wearing a Harley Davidson uh, mesh jacket, uh, but it doesn't mean that it's lightweight, that there is no protection. Uh, the protection that I get from this particular jacket is from the shoulder pads, uh, see armor that I wear, the armor that I wear on my elbow to my forearm, and I also have a uh, armor on my back as a back protector. For my regular rides, I will wear these gloves, which is a Harley Davidson uh, mesh glove, but it does have protection on the knuckles uh, and also on the palms as well. And of course, finally, I will wear a full face helmet. Now, this is something that I will wear all the time uh, because uh, I, I feel that safety is a, a really important aspect of uh, riding. You know, you know, we're not covered by steel uh, always around, right? We're exposed to the elements. So if we take a hit, uh, I think the most important thing to think about will be your head, right? So no amount of money that you save should be equated to the money you save on a helmet, right? So. Uh, and I also wear a pair of jeans and a pair of riding boots uh, as well. Uh, these riding boots are the Dainese uh, riding boots, waterproof. And it also has CE C armor on the ankles and uh, on the toes as well. So it affords me quite a fair bit of protection uh, for my feet. Right, which is also very important because you protect the upper half of your body uh, and then when you hit the ground you know you you you, you twist an ankle worse still you break your ankle and so forth i know that uh, of course the best protection would be to wear something all around a riding kevlar pants jeans or what have you uh but invariably it's still pretty okay um i think in terms of safety it's still pretty there. Anyway, my commute 
every day is about 30 kilometers one way to work uh, it doesn't mean that it's a short distance that uh, I can afford to sacrifice certain aspects of safety but uh, I think it's a trade-off but that being said uh, if I was to ride longer distances I wear a full suit I wear my uh, Harley waterproof jacket uh, which has full ZE armor as well, shoulders, elbow, forearm, uh, and back. I'll wear my Magna um, riding pants, which is also waterproof, and it has uh, armor on the hips, knees, and shin. And of course, I will always wear uh, my full face helmet. And for my gloves, I wear the climb uh, waterproof ones, which is really got fully armored uh, knuckles and uh, even has a bit of armor on the palms as well uh, and pads so it affords me quite a lot of uh, safety as well right so this is basically why I wear what I wear every day to ride um, it, I think it's a matter of safety on a side note and a little story uh, Singapore has embarked on uh, or at least the traffic police uh, in Singapore has embarked on a little campaign uh, and it started uh, late last year uh, and it was for it was for gear up and ride safe uh, campaign I think that's what it's called I'll try and put the uh, a description below uh, for it and um, what it was is that they're trying to encourage everybody to uh, gear up wear the proper gear meaning helmets jackets gloves uh, at least right, proper right, proper pants and proper shoes uh, and not flip-flops or, or tennis shoes or what have you uh, when you ride. Um, so it was on, on my uh, daily commute, exactly this particular route that I was traveling uh, along to get to uh, my destination and I was traveling exactly this particular route uh, towards uh, the highway which I will normally do and uh, I'm I was keeping to uh, the speed limit at least I thought so and then when I'm taking this turn I, I checked my mirrors and I saw a, a police car <laughs> on the side and the lights were flashing so I was thinking Oh shit, you know, did I do something wrong? And he actually followed me down this route here. And uh, I continued and I decided that, hey, you know, <laughs> let's not uh, wake the bear, right? Uh, and then just, and, and keep to the speed limit, which is uh, 70 kilometers, by the way, on this road. Um, slightly above, but they do give uh, some leeway. And as I keep checking my mirror, he got closer and closer. Uh, but he didn't sound the siren, so I was just thinking, okay, uh, maybe he's just uh, going to respond to something other than me. Right? So again, he, he changed lane and he was right behind me again, and I could see it through my mirror here. And uh, it was at this point that he overtook me on the left here and he told me to pull over uh, which I did then I pulled over here the rain shelters are and I got off the bike switched off my engine and decided that okay you know I'm gonna get a ticket but instead he came up to me and said sir don't worry uh, I'm not going to book you for anything. In fact, uh, I saw you coming uh, coming around the corner uh, and you were wearing a full jacket and full face and stuff. So I want to give you something. So I was thinking, okay, if it's not a ticket, what the hell is he going to give me? So he actually reached into his uh, saddlebags and pulled out a little baggie with a gift. Right? It's, it were a couple, some little gifts that they, they, they give away, stickers and stuff. Uh, and and he said, right, this is to as as a little present that you have suit up and write safely. 
gifts. I was thinking, okay, thank you very much. Right after he handed me those gifts, uh, he said to me, hey, listen, hold on. Don't go anywhere. Um, I need to take a selfie with you. I said, okay. Uh, I'm okay for that. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll put up a picture of, uh, if I can find it, of uh, the traffic policeman and myself. Uh, and he said that he's going to use that as an example of uh, he's going to put up the picture on his uh, the Singapore Police Force website and use it as an example. I'm not the only one, anyway, as an example of uh, someone who's uh, suited up and rides safely. Right? So I was kind of glad for that. I didn't end up having a ticket, uh, but you know, all's well is ends well, as they say, right? Uh, so that is why I wear what I wear when I ride. Uh, this jacket and the gloves and the full face helmet and uh, the proper riding boots, right? As opposed to just regular shoes. Uh, to borrow from someone, uh, basically someone said, uh, I can't remember who it was, that I'd rather sweat than bleed. And I think that's a good thing, right? Safety is a very important thing. We are not. Uh, covered up like uh, most of the cars uh, with four doors and a roof and, and stuff like that uh, we're more prone to injuries no matter what right this will probably uh, reduce the amount of injuries but at least you know uh, you won't be you won't be severely injured at least unless it's something really severe uh, right so that's the challenge uh, for today uh, I'll, and this came about uh, again from Scouts Adventures uh, and this came about from us talking uh, on his live chat or live stream on YouTube and basically uh, I, I encourage you to join in you know uh, I, I believe that he's from Canada so or he's in Canada he's not from Canada he's from the UK so it's probably Canadian time uh, which is the late morning or uh, early afternoon for me and the next day as well so he does it on Friday night I get to come on uh, the next day on Saturday uh, on the live stream uh, you can check him out I put him again you can find him in the cards uh, above and uh, I'll put him in the description below and uh, so he says that I have to nominate two people and so the two people that I'm nominating the first one is the Harley Roadshow Mate, your challenge is for you to put up a video and the title is Why I Wear What I Wear When I Ride a Bike. The second person that I uh, will nominate is Chopper Fab. So brother, you have to do the same. Why I wear what I wear when I ride a bike. You can find both of their uh, channels. Uh, I'll put them in the cards above and I'll put it in the description below. So once again, thank you very much folks for uh, joining me on this ride and, and listening to this particular challenge. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, thank you very much for joining. Uh, if you haven't yet done so, please click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell to let you know exactly when I'm putting out a new video. Once again, thank you very much. You all be safe and have safe rides.